you know, if you did RDMA in, in to the boxes, and those boxes are SSDs inside there, you can, you can yeah. consolidate your investment in your RDMA. Right. I'm just SSDs. figuring it's a sloppy, you know, a sloppy way of getting massive disks from scratch only for something quick. Would that be worth it? I think I'm going to try it anyway, even if it is worth it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, you know, you can pull down the .org and try it, you know. Yeah. All right, so let's, we're around in the bend here. Um, two quick case studies that I, 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 you know, Lauren, I thought were pretty interesting. So the first one, you know, Lauren was playing this earlier, the, the Pandora internet radio. Um, I, I think that this is a really interesting case study because um, this is an example of a startup. Like if I was to quit my job and, you know, to, to do a large capital outlay of, of, you know, all kinds of storage and, and all that would be possibly cost prohibitive for a startup. So software-based storage where, you know, I can go to the store and buy a terabyte drive for, what, 50 bucks these days? Um, and then load up a chassis with all these and, you know, it, it's, it's very, very cost effective. Um, so uh, Pandora, they presented at the Red Hat Summit uh, last year and I sat in on their talk. And, you know, one of the things that they talk about is that um, they have, uh, what's interesting is that, you know, you would think that there would be like one, you know, Taylor Swift song.mp3 and there's like one version of it. But they actually have uh, 12 different file formats for, for every single song that they have. Because um, the, the, the encodings for the files are optimized for whether it's a Blackberry or iOS or what version of iOS or what version of Android. And so they actually have multiple <coughs> variants of the same song. Um, the other thing is that you, know, you talk about hot content and long tail content. So whenever there's a, a you know a new Taylor Swift song that comes out, everybody wants to listen to it. You could make all kind of replicas, okay? So so you don't have one server that's just getting totally slammed. But the other thing is that you could do long tail content. So like you know I like to listen to weird music that, and so there's probably like a replica for me and like a backup copy, and that's it in the planet, you know. But but it's but it, and so you could be very judicious as far as, as having the, the long tail content, um, and and especially when you start thinking about the replication and the software based storage nature of it, where it you know again fifty bucks for a per, uh, terabyte drive, um, it it makes it cost effective for Pandora to be able to um, have so many songs and and, and because they ha just have so much capacity that they could do with it, um, two petabytes of capacity. And and um, and then the other thing is that what's interesting too is it's 1.2 petabytes served out from their servers every week, which is pretty amazing, you know, to do to to copy that amount of data, stream it over the internet. Um, and then the other thing that they said during the talk is that um, to manage that over two terabytes or two petabytes of capacity, um, they only have one full-time system admin for the storage. Um, so, yeah. And, and but it's like if you design it right, and you you know, you, you and you have a one really smart guy. That's that's pretty cool. Um, so that that that's what I thought was was pretty neat. And also the same thing here. Um, this may be of interest here is you know 50 gigabytes per second of people traffic. So you know and 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 uh, I think they I think they say here uh, yeah three data centers with a six node cluster file system cluster per each. Okay. So next one. So this is the last last case study I have here is uh, so you know you guys heard about the NASA rover right landed on Mars and all kind of pictures back, um, but what it's doing is that if you look at any of those pictures that NASA uh, records all of them and saves them uh, to a cluster file system and, and today they're using cluster.org, um, but it's living on uh, Amazon uh, Web Services so AWS um, and so. Uh, what I thought was unique about this is that you, know, you, you often think about, um, you know, a lot of times the, the government agencies are risk averse or very conservative and they're not willing to adopt new things. This is a case where um, NASA is not only using new technology like Gluster and software-based storage, but they're doing it in, in a cloud. Um, a, a couple of months ago, at the Amazon uh, Web Services had their public sector summit. And um, one of the keynote speakers was uh, the, the CIO of, of JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It's an awesome, awesome uh, uh, presentation that he gave, and, and where he talked about how he's able to use AWS that, and, and 
uh, being able to have the elasticity of being able to uh, uh, stand up things very, very quickly by using cloud technology it was, it was just totally fascinating. Um, but anyhow, here's where you can see that this is, if you go to uh, Amazon, they have a success story about it, and they, they talk about uh, that in a little bit of detail. So that's the last slide I had, and I'll turn it over to, to Lauren to uh, close out. Okay, so the Gloucester website is gloucester.org, and then when you, and the Red Hat Storage website, and it's really interesting to you, redhat.com slash storage, and there you can find the Red Hat Storage Administration Guide. It's got the cluster commands I used in the demo, and lots of information about the, vo the volume types that I talked about today, and <coughs> other types of volumes. So, before I close that, does anyone have any questions? Good. Yeah? Good. How did you enjoy putting the presentation together? <laughs> <laughs> it was actually pretty easy. My dad helped me a little. And <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out and just a couple of main takeaway points. Cluster is software based storage. This means it can be on a physical server, a virtual machine, or in the cloud. It's for big data, so really big files and lots of them. And there are community and commercial versions out there. Communities download and tinker with over the weekend. Commercials use it for your businesses. It could get very expensive. It could get unpleasantly expensive and unexpectedly expensive if you used it over the weekend just to tinker around it. And it Western is for unstructured data, so that means that it's for all sorts of data and just give it a try. And they've got giveaways over there. Yeah, we've got bags space. and help yourself to any of that. Yeah. So yeah. 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 this way. Yeah. Just one more comment. Yeah. It's great to see you having advanced from being dad's slide advancer to present. <laughs> cake too. Yeah. He was yeah. the cake person. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, the birthday party. Several uh, the so that's never good. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. And the second presentation is always a lot easier than the first. <laughs>